Fort Benning's borders protect both the community and training that resides within it, but also the communities that surround it. But the borders don't stop the noise made by the training. These sounds can get pretty noisy in certain areas of the installation. So Fort Benning invited residents from the area to come discuss the situation and get a glimpse of the equipment that they hear. Fort Benning's hands-on training exercises, or hot X's, have always been open for anyone to enjoy. But the latest hot X, Fort Benning invited any and all of their neighbors from the areas in North Columbus, where it gets a little noisy. I'm here to just see what's happening. Uh, I hear the sounds and feel the vibrations. I wanted to see exactly where they're coming from. I've got a good idea because I was in the Navy. So uh, I understand, but it was an open invitation and we accepted it. After the Hot X was a public meeting, including residents from all the surrounding areas, including Casita, Midland, Yupatoy, and Northern Columbus, all areas close to ranges where mortars or tanks are fired. After listening to it for 40 years, I know that the sounds got louder when they brought their Abram tanks in, and it gets real loud when they do the mine clearing shot. That's probably the worst one, uh, but it doesn't bother me. I do not hear it at night. When I go to bed at 10 o'clock, I don't hear anything. The garrison commander, as well as representatives from the armor school, the office that deals with noise, and the JAG office all fielded questions and had an open dialogue with residents so each side could better understand each other. Thank you very much. And most of us are either connected to the military, retired military, and all that. We live in this corridor that's affected. Yes, sir. We understand you're following orders and you're just doing your mission, and that's accepted. I certainly recognize that, as I stated up front, Fort Benning's success hinges on a, a great working relationship. But the reality is, we are hesitant to try to say, you know what, we're going to stop firing at midnight. Because the minute you do that, there's going to be a malfunction on the range. I'm going to be the first to tell you, I'm a soldier. And soldiers train to standard at the time. Training to standard means that however long it takes a soldier or unit to get something right will be how long the exercise lasts. Which means the Army can't schedule blocks of time or quit after dark because it may take longer than that to get it right. To have an Army, you have to train constantly. And this is part of it. What's the use of having tanks if nobody knows how to shoot them? One of the biggest questions at the public meeting was, what is a Miklik and why is it so loud? Well, a Miklik is a mine clearing line charge. It allows soldiers to clear a large area of hidden mines or IEDs. And it's only fired a few times a year. It's important that uh, our soldiers and Marines are afforded the opportunity to again train uh, on that type of equipment in a safe environment. Uh, and so, again, we certainly appreciate the understanding and patience of our, our, of our neighbors here uh, in the local Fort Benning community. Fort Benning is a training installation with a lot of equipment that makes a lot of noise. While the noise does carry beyond Fort Benning's borders, every effort is being taken to reduce the amount of noise heard in surrounding communities. The public meeting not only helped the Post and its neighbors better understand each other, it allowed everyone to glimpse the importance of cooperation and understanding from both sides. Yes.